Morning folks, um, right, my mast paint up this week has produced two mounted figures, two mounted officers. I know, I can hear round of applause, I know. It's just been one of those weeks I was going to get so much done today or yesterday, if you're watching this on Sunday, I was going to get so much finished on Saturday. And then we've had the, what, the hottest day of the year where we are, 29, 30 degrees. And it's just too darn hot to uh, to be painting figures. Um, I've got it all planned. But this is all I managed to get finished with the heat wave. I mean, this is England, so we'll be we'll be back to uh, normal, normal conditions within a day or so, I suppose. Um, the hot weather never lasts that long, does it? Yep, so I've got a couple of um, Elizabethan mounted uh, officers, mounted colonels, whatever you want to call them. Um, I know the rank system wasn't that organised at this time, but uh, yeah, a couple of mounted, uh, what I would call sort of uh, brigade officers. And these are from the, um, the old Essex range. So these figures are going to be getting on for 40 years old. Uh, but I've done a bit of kit bashing. What I've done is uh, lopped off the heads and added the uh, newer Conquistador head uh, from Wargames Atlantic, which uh, gives them a, an updated feel. Um, I think the figures fit in pretty well. The horse looks pretty good size-wise compared to uh, other figures. Yeah. Um, so we've got uh, two different types of Morian um, helmets. Yeah, so uh, I'm well pleased with these. I thought oh, um, I had some of these kicking about uh, some old figures. So I thought I'd do a bit of conversion work, see what they look like, and I think they look pretty good. Um, the um, hands did actually have um, lances in which were broken off, so I've just sort of cleaned them up. So they do look a bit clunky, but uh, that's the uh, the remnants of a lance stuck in the hands. Uh, yeah, well, with, I think with these new heads, it does make them look pretty good. I've just pulled back again. That's a couple of my conflict buildings that I uh, that I scratch built uh, for my Elizabethan Border Reaver games. I'll uh, I'll get uh, I'll get out the other figures that I'm actually working on that I didn't get finished, but uh, just to show you, I haven't been too much of a slacker. Yeah. So what we've got here are uh, a unit of six demi lancers. I've got uh, one more figure. He's just in the uh, soaking in uh, turps. Just got to clean off the old paint, which has probably been on 20, 30, 40 years. As I say, these are 40 year old figures. Um, I've taken one of the figures, as you can see, taken the head off and add uh, this guy's got a, a pot hat. Uh, the other figures I think I'm going to leave as they are. So the one figure that's yet to come, he'll have a pot hat on as well. Just uh, And then I'll base them in threes, three different figures to a base. Yeah, and along with these guys, I'm also panning over, working on a unit of peasants, uh, militia types, uh, 12 here, uh, various weapons, glaze, halberds, sticks, stones, cudgels, and uh, one guy with a pistol, well, actually two pistols at the front there. Yeah, so a mixed patch, um, oh, a sword as well, some, uh, and I think a spear in one of them, yeah, I thought I just need to have some militia types, so got a unit of 12 here, I may up that to 18, but uh, 12 at the moment. Yeah, so that's the work this week so far. Um, I'm blaming the weather. Just too hot, it's been too hot this week. Uh, a lot of work outside in the garden, built in the patio. So uh, yeah, and too hot at night to paint pickers. That's my excuse. Right, um, so there we go. Thanks for checking in and um, bye for now.